So today we're going to make a very simple and very beautiful Christmas wreath using firewood. This is a fun project that anyone can do. You don't have to have any experience and you don't have to have a bunch of fancy tools to do it either. Just a couple things. You're gonna need a pencil, you're gonna need a coping saw, something like this, Home Depot, 10, 15 bucks, and just a regular type of saw. You know, you, I'm gonna be using my, this Japanese pole saw, um, but I, you don't need a fancy saw like that. Anything like this, what says $20 at Home Depot, these are, I think around 10 or $12, that will be fine as well. And you're going to need some outdoor glue. So if you're gonna use the tight bond, get the blue stuff. I believe the red is indoor, inside the exterior is the blue. So first thing we need to do is to draw a big circle on a scrap piece of plywood. I might recommend that you use a half inch or so or thicker, I'm using five eighths here, just because it has less tendency to warp if you are gonna hang this outside, because when you finish it, you're going to be, wanna show it off to all your neighbors. So we're gonna draw a circle here, I'm gonna use Speaking of which, look at this. Have I shown these to you? These calipers, these were hand forged by a blacksmith a long time ago. I mean, they look very old. I found them in an antique store for $10. Can you imagine that? When I look at my, my, my level of ability for blacksmithing, when I look at something like that, it just is, it is impressive. So if you don't have ye old blacksmith compass, trace around a five gallon can. Trace around anything you have that's round. You can even uh, tie a string, put a nail in the center or a screw, tie a piece of string. But what we're going for here is about 16 inches. Sad to say the threads are stripped out of ye old compass there. Well, I'm gonna, until I have a chance to re-thread that, we'll get a new neck size up. We can fix that one. We'll do an old trick here. Stuff some wood in there, some planer shavings. That'll tighten it up right there, get us by. Now with our two circles drawn, this is where we're gonna use our coping saw. Coping saw is a, is a saw that you can cut a radius in. It's a, not a super fast saw, super efficient, but it's very versatile, it's perfect or something like this, and they're really inexpensive. This is an essential tool if you wanna do woodworking, and one that you can find, well you can find these used for 50 cents a dollar all the time. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, clamp it down and cut this radius out. So next we'll drill a hole on the inside of the second ring so we can get our hole or our saw started. So anything you have, if you don't have a drill, uh, take a, I mean, just find something sharp and just get a little hole in it here so we can get our, all we need to do is to get our uh, coping saw in there. Doesn't have to be this big. So now you can see why we need the hole, because we'll need to get our saw in there, our coping saw. So the saw, will, the blade will have to come off. And that's a really great feature in these saws, is you can, it is so versatile. They'll just do things that nothing else will do. Just an amazing invention. So place where you want your handle to be. And then we can reinstall our blade Now with our circle cut, we're all ready to cut our firewood pieces. And you're properly trained up if you ever need to cut a toilet seat. So this is the bit where you get to let your creativity run wild here. What do you want to use? You can use anything you want. But what I've chosen here, let's zoom out a bit, uh, are some, this is limb wood. I like the way, it, the look of limb wood because it's so dense and the growth rings are so tight and it's durable. It always holds up really well. It's just great tough stuff. The best firewood you can get 
is a limb wood. So I've got pieces here off, off the fire pile. Now, if you don't have any dried firewood and you want to do something similar to this, you can go cut a branch off of something. Ask a neighbor. I mean, there's not a neighbor out there who doesn't have a fir tree that wouldn't like to have a little free pruning. Even if it's green, use it anyway. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Just uh, know it's going to check a little bit. It might crack, but that kind of makes it even cooler. Uh, what I might recommend if you're going to use green wood is to use a water uh, a, a glue that works good with water like Gorilla Glue because there'll be a lot of moisture in the wood and it will move and that might work better. But I think if it, so if it falls off, you glue it back on, right? So this is my biggest piece. I don't know, probably four inches in diameter. And I'm gonna square it up a bit. Once you square it up, then I'm gonna start cutting some thin slices. I don't know how thick, you know, let's say maybe half inch, three quarter, whatever suits you. If you don't have a carpenter's vise, don't worry about it. Just uh, have someone hold it or clamp it to a table or use your machinist vise, whatever it takes. Oh, isn't that nice? Isn't that pretty? A little bit of moisture in there. That was a piece that was sitting outside, but I'm not worried about it. It will check right there. You can bet on it. Look at those tight gro growth rings. That's really nice. That's really pretty. You put a little oil on there little boiled linseed oil, you're going to have something that'll look really nice. All right, no need to go to the gym today. You're going to get your workout cutting these. Right about now, you may be worrying that this is a bit going to be a bit tacky. Rest assured, it's not. I don't do tacky. You're going to like it. All right, here's the fun bit here. So we got two sizes. We got big ones and little ones, right? Big ones go on the bottom. We're going to center those. You know they're going to be they're going to be kind of oval. So we'll you cut enough of them and configure them in a way. You know before you put the glue on there and turn them around until they're kind of basically on the center there. This is kind of similar, inspired by the my uh, office wall uh, that you've seen uh, for so many years. It's kind of on, on that vein there. So get it in there like that. So you're kind of equal like that. Now we're going to use lots of glue um, because this is going to be you know. It's going to be kicked around and uh, or uh, moved around a lot. And uh, whoops, I'm going to the top there. I'm getting a little carried away here. Uh, it's, you know, put it put away in Christmas boxes and stuff, and and so it needs to be pretty durable. Let's let's put it on there. Maybe that makes more sense right there. It's a good bit of glue on there. That's a little too much. I'm getting totally carried away here in my rhetoric. Don't want glue on there. Okay, I'll come back, clean that off there. Don't use this much glue. All right, just double check everything. Make sure that we're uh, equally spaced around there. Now we're going to use, a, this is a smaller size. And the reason why the smaller size is uh, it, it'll have, it'll look nicer. Kind of bridge that gap. And this is going to cover up those seams. Uh, we're going to, it's going to cover up our plywood there. So these are, you know, because these are hand cut, they're going to be a little uneven. So we're going to have to kind of, you know, make sure you find the high spots right there and just fix that where it's going to be. See that kind of tip teeter tottering there a little bit. I might even turn that until it matches up a little bit better. I like that better. Put some glue on there. Hot glue would work, providing you're not going to have it outside. Feels pretty good. Keep working around. So that's going to sit overnight and we're going to finish that up tomorrow. There's more to it. I'll I'm going to put a piece of that scrap plywood on here, a couple jugs of nails, something that's heavy to weight that down. Not going to hurt a thing. Set that glue down in there and we'll just leave that be and we'll come back and see you tomorrow. I'm excited to announce a new partnership with the Top Buzz app. Top Buzz takes all of your interests, family, lifestyle, the outdoors, whatever you want, and puts all the best content and plenty of our cool DIY and family vlogs in one place. Be sure to download the app and subscribe to our page. Maybe you'll find something new. This video is sponsored by Top Buzz.